Etin Mongtien and Super One Tipat. Do battle for the South Africa back in April. Going in lane six, lead to Chin. 2015 C Schoolgirls Championship. Starter and scoreboard asking for quiet. Twin sister of Kustia. I'll tell you what, Le Tzu Chin though has looked really good throughout these championships. For me, she's the one to catch. The warm ups, the semi final, just how comfortable she's looked. Really hasn't strained. Mika Shanti Pereira has been in good form, new national record in the semi finals. Well, they all get away fairly quickly, and indeed it's uh, Zulkifli with the quicker start, but it's Le Tzu Chin who settles into her stride and she's going to run to glory, she's going to run to gold. Veronica Shanti Pereira closing quick, it's just not quick enough to claim the silver, claims the bronze for Singapore. But Le Tzu Chin finishes ahead of Zulkifli for the silver. Shanti Pereira brings home Singapore's bronze. She claimed the bronze in 2015 over this distance. She gets it again. But Le Tzu Chin, the 2015 C Schoolgirls champion, is now the 2017 C Games champion. She is the fastest woman in Southeast Asia. Didn't have the quickest start, but boy did she settle into a stride fairly quickly. Veronica Chanti Pereira, another five meters, and she might have had enough to catch Lil Kipley, certainly was closing fastest. But that is just a consummate display. Just looks so easy. She's looked so comfortable in warm-up. Her semi-final looked fairly emphatic. She ran sub 11-5. So Kipley was touted after her sessions in South Africa earlier this year and a new Malaysian record of 11.45 and a wind assisted 11.36 to be the favourite, to be the woman to beat. But in a relatively slow time for Le Tzu Chin, 11.56, she's done it in the field at 28. Le Tzu Chin of Vietnam, well set for another gold medal, looked so easy on her way to the 100 gold. The fastest woman in South Africa. Fancy herself. Well, she's already managed to convert her junior success into senior success by claiming the title of Southeast Asia's fastest woman with a fine run in the 100 meter on her way to gold. And she double up. 100 and 200 meter double. And we can shot to Pereira, the defending champion. Only in lane seven for Singapore. Kifley cutting it very fine around the bed, nearly treading out of her lane at one stage. 
Monica Shantaparera has got such a strong finish as well. She's closing in on Zulkifli in the closing stages. But Lin Chin, who was only one winner in this race, she was in command of it from start to finish. She ran the bend superbly. Despite the fact that she didn't get off to an explosive start, she was able to dominate once she got into her stride. And she takes the goal and the sprint double at the 2017 Sea Games. And indeed, a very promising career ahead of her. Looking anxiously to see if she'd get confirmation of the result. Well, it's not a Sea Games record, but 23.32 is a fast time. It's been rounded up to for Lin Chin, the champion, the sprint double. This now been to bronze, uh, silver, and bronze to Veronica Shantapur. Defending champions. Vietnam, the silver medalist from two years ago. Just 3.2 of a second separating the two teams. Let the team Mongolia. Leaves off for Vietnam. Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam. Lanes three to seven. Thailand defending champ. Silver medalists from two years ago, Vietnam in the outside game. Going very quickly here, Wendy here going for Singapore, but off to a fine start. She looks to be going to a flyer as well, but building into a stride on the outside is Lindy Mong Duyen of Vietnam. Good handovers for all the competitors so far. Just a little too slow on the inside lane for Malaysia, though, with a little bit of speed to work up. For the uh, Singaporeans just losing a little pace on the back straight. Second bend now looks to be Vietnam who take the lead out in front. We'll see as they get into the final pack and the final changeup. But Vietnam looking very solid for the gold medal here. It's a poor handover. It's eventually been passed on the baton. It'll be brought to victory by Vietnam. The, break, the uh, race for silver and bronze is certainly on. Vietnam will come to the gold. In the end, it's just been brought home by Thailand for the silver medal. And Philippines will claim the bronze ahead of Singapore, who finished fourth for the second consecutive Sea Games. But a superb final sprint, just opening up an enormous gap. Le to Chin, the fastest woman in Southeast Asia, will claim the 100-200 meter double. She has her third gold medal of these games, helping Vietnam to another impressive victory. Well, big celebrations for Vietnam. Leti Mong Tien laid off very fast opening uh, 100 so 43.88 it's a new SEA Games record for Thailand as well, for uh, Vietnam as well breaking Thailand's record of 44 flat great combination Dong Tien Hoa Third leg, Malaysia in the south on the middle, Singapore the south on the middle. Well, Thailand, We've got the silver, 44-62 to Bawad, bringing it home. And the Philippines will celebrate. Zion Rose Nelson, the Richardson twins, Kayla and Kyla. And Luzon. Celebrations here for Vietnam. Very quick on the uh, initial leg. Ronald oh, Nelson got off to a decent start, turning over to Kayla Anise Richardson. Oh, and the back straight very nicely beyond uh, Singapore with that first change. Vietnam by this time though, just streaming ahead by the time. 
That one was handed over to Lindsay Chin. She was only a little way ahead of the remainder of the field, but took the baton and just brought it home, extended her advantage by some margin over anyone else in the field. She just looks so easy. It's a bit awkward, that final handover, though, for Vietnam. But an expression of delight from the 20-year-old who, in her first SEA Games, has claimed three gold medals from three events.